Well, hello there! Today, we are going to try something different, something new, something fresh. We are going to be using Toon Boom Harmony, my beloved, in order to create a rig of myself. That's right, say goodbye to these old emotes that appeared like two bits ago, as we are going to create new. Let's go! To start off with any rig, you need to design your character. I already had a design, I just needed to make sure it would be following the rig conventions. For example, that all joints were rounded, and that the detail part of the patterns weren't on the joints themselves. Then, I drew the side view so that it would be easier to translate this part in the program, and I wouldn't be forced to think on the spot. I've also wrote down the colors that I used. Since you already know about this design from the first video of me introducing myself, I'm not going to dwell much on it. There are just a few stylistic differences with the shapes of the nose and the body type, but those don't have much reason behind them. The only argument I can find is that this type of body is easier to animate and change than the more realistic detailed one. With the sketch being done, the fun began. Firstly, each part must be created as a separate drawing, which in turn have to be connected in the right order. Think of it as layers. If the head is above the face, you won't be able to see it. As you may know, animators are lazy people, so I only drew half of the character, as I would be mirroring the other half later. With all the layers created, I added pegs. These are made to move the character. They also need to be arranged in a specific order, but I'll talk about it later when we get there. After all the layers are created, start drawing your character. All the overlapping parts will be dealt with later. For deciding how to rig this, I knew that I wanted to add all the features, experiment, and do everything I knew. Since I will be the only one using this rig, I am not bothered if some naming conventions are not followed, or if the file will end up too big. Although it might appear in videos as stills for emotions, I would still like to use it as basis for my animations. With that said, there will be a lot of features that will be added off-screen and that I won't be showcasing today. More expression, head turns, move to 360 degrees, blinks, and other features will be, as I said, added later. If you have any ideas what else I should add, what would you like to see this rig do, maybe, if you would like to see me explaining how I did it in detail, let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't have time to wait for me to make the video about how I did it, check out The Bird Brain here on YouTube. All of her tutorials are super straight to the point and super easy to follow. She explains everything in very simple terms and I'm 100% sure I wouldn't be able to do half of what I did in this rig without her.
As per the process of connecting the pegs, I'd say that the best way to connect them is by seeing what needs to follow what. Like how the hand won't fly off without the lower arm, or how the lower arm needs to follow the upper arm when that moves, or how you need to follow me to see how this rig's moved in my future videos. <laughs> this is the best explanation I can find for explaining how to create a peg hierarchy. After you're done with connecting all of them, you may start looking into auto patch and cut tools that help with removing those lines that you won't need while you don't need them. For example, if you don't need a constant line between my upper arm and lower arm, but if I erase it, the moment I go into turning that arm, I don't get that line back and I just get an empty elbow. So auto patch and cut nodes are here to help with that. There's other stuff I also use, like transparency node on the glasses, the glue node between the hips for better rotation. Basically, if you want to do something, there is a chance that Harmony has a node for that. I added deformers on the hair and the upper body so that I can change the shape without having to redraw them into multiple different ones. After I was done with all the nodes and connections, I duplicated the arms, flipped them over using static transformation. With that, the front view was done.
that, the video is done! Here's a few test animations that I did. Let me know down in the comments below what do you think? Do you like how the puppet looks? Are you excited to see more of it? I sure hope so, as I would love to use it in my future videos. Anyways, links to my other social medias are in the description. Subscribe, comment, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!